Hey guys, this is the hike to Potato Mountain, which is where I am. Unfortunately, we're a little, a little cloudy up here right now. The clouds just rolled in, but uh, usually the vista is beautiful from here. You can see the mountains in the back. You can see some of the snow up there. Normally you can see Cucamonga and the big mountains of Angeles National Forest from here. But the nice thing about this is it's a great beginner's mountain hike. It's not snowy, rarely snowy or treacherous. It's a big wide trail. It's a tough climb, but it's manageable. So if you're just kind of getting into the mountains or you want to do something that's not a huge mountain expedition, this is a great option. It's about four and a half miles round trip. It'll take you a couple hours and you get these beautiful views up here and uh, it's a fun time and you're, you're in the forest. So if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com where I have all the directions, parking, maps, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So the trailhead's on the side of Mount Baldy Road, on the very beginning of Mount Baldy Road. It's not marked as a trailhead. So if you go to the website, I have all the information um, on how to find it. But there's a lot of parking, and there's some overflow parking. And there are cars that will try to block you on your hike, like that white pickup. But otherwise, just keep going straight through this yellow gate. This is your key to start the hike here. This is the actual trailhead. And once you go through the gate, you kind of emerge into this oak wonderland here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, pristine wilderness area. It was actually going to be developed as housing. And it was saved. And it was donated to uh, Pomona College and used as a biology research area. And then it was gifted uh, to Claremont Hills Wilderness Park. So I have all the information about that on the website as well. But you're going to climb, as you might imagine, Potato Mountain. You're going to start climbing here. And the trail's nice and nice and wide. And after about a mile, 1.4 miles or so, you're going to come to this intersection here. And there's a trail sign for Potato Mountain. You're going to make the hard left and then head up this little rise. And you'll see Potato Mountain distance there. And you can keep climbing here and actually go down a little hill right after this rise. And when you go to the bottom of the hill, you're going to see some other smaller use trails that go up to Potato Mountain. We're going to stay on the main trail here and not wear new trails into the land. You can see the views here are pretty good. It's cloudy today, but normally you can see all of the peaks. You can see Saddleback Mountain from right there. But we're going to head right up on this main trail here, Fire Road, really. And it gets steep here, but you have these beautiful views into Angeles National Forest. You'd see the high peaks from there if there weren't clouds. Um, but just take your time, head up the steep, um, steep trail here. And the trail is going to kind of wind around the side of the mountain. You're going to get some beautiful views into the IE. In the distance, you'd be able to see San Jacinto. You can kind of see it poking through the clouds over there, Saddleback. You're just going to keep on heading up. And then shortly, after about 2.2 miles or so, you're going to come up to the summit of Potato Mountain. And the summit area is big, and there's sort of paths all around it. You can kind of wind around and check it out. Fortunately, I just got socked in here by these clouds. But the main area is up ahead where this big water tank is. Um, and you just go past the water tank and get great views. And on the water tank is where you'll see all of the potatoes. You can decorate a potato, bring it up here. People take pictures, post them on social media. It's a good time. And then when you're done, you just head back the way you came and you're gonna get some great, great views on the descent. And uh, that's how you do the hike. So that's the hike. It's a fun one. Give it a try. If you haven't done it, do it at least once. If you're getting into hiking in the mountains, hiking around the mountains of Southern California, it's a good one to kind of cut your teeth on. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I have a link to the full article right under the video in the description there. So make sure you click on that to figure out what you need to know to do the hike. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you could do me a fave and click that little thumbs up button, that will help other people find the video, help the channel, and uh, hopefully help people hike and get into the outdoors safely. So, Potato Mountain, and there's actually potatoes there. People leave their potatoes. So if you got hungry, I guess in a pinch you could eat one of those, but I probably wouldn't. But if you want to decorate a potato and bring it and leave it here, take your picture with it, you certainly can do that as well. But anyway, potato, potato, let's call the whole thing off.
See you guys.